The food marketing world is, it continues to be a really, really exciting place to be. And, and grocery stores are probably a bit more exciting now than, than they were some, some time ago. Uh, we we um, you know, have this proliferation of conversation about food and, and, and that food comes together in the supermarket. We've done a lot of work over the last couple of years to, to understand what drives the influence of our brand Then worked, worked with you on, on, on that and uh, saw some soft spots around, um, around our brand, specifically with young Canadians and, uh, and with new Canadians that, that haven't grown up with the brand over the, over the decades. And um, you know, that really led us to, to um, you know, rethink how we bring the brand to market. And we did that last year in a, in a, in a significant way. We are, we're on this journey, on, the, on this journey of modernizing our, our go-to-market approach, of digitizing our go-to-market approach. It's been very traditional for a very long time, uh, an approach that's, that's rooted in print, first and foremost and then uh, supported by television and other media. And um, so the, the, the bigger steps we've taken last year is just the uh, uh, innovation around how we market the brand under a new umbrella, a, a whole new go-to-market strategy and the Crave More uh, and, and uh, a significant effort behind that last year. It was probably the biggest thing we did uh, for the brand last year. With the launch of our Crave More campaign, uh, we, we changed our our normal media buying process. Um, with, with, the, with the help of uh, Zenith, we, we invited the big media providers in and, and actually ran a pitch. We put some money on the table and said one of you four is going to win this prize if you come in with the most innovative, integrated uh, media plan that, that gives us access to the next, the new, the never been done. And, and, um, and that was a very eye-opening process in, in um, having, allowing the, 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 you know, allowing people to be creative around the packages they put together and, and, uh, and buying some things that are a bit more integrated than, than just buying piecemeal media. Influence and, and the creation of influence um, is definitely a collaborative effort across everybody at Lava. You know, President's Choice is our crown jewel. It is our, it's our, our, our you know, most, most valued asset. And, and um, there isn't one person that owns it. Uh, there isn't one team that owns it. It it's, starts with our product development teams, uh, goes, goes through the marketing, but, but, but certainly uh, our front line, the people in our store, the people downstairs here that represent that brand uh, each and every day are really the ones that I think can be the best ambassadors for the brand and create the most influence. We, for the last two years, have said everything is digital and digital is everything. That's been our mantra. We, we've, we've, uh, everything we've done started with the digital first thought. And it needed to, 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 to deliver against digital. Um, that's changing and, and that's now a mobile first objective. So 2015 for us means everything we do has to start with mobile first. We know and we see just on, on the, the, the web usage on, on our sites uh, that, that now more than half of our traffic is no longer coming from from uh, a desktop computer, it's coming from a tablet or from, from, from a handheld device. And, and uh, uh, you know, we have to adapt uh, our, our approach to that. That continues to be a very difficult question to answer because intuitively, I think, um, you know, the President's Choice brand has presence. You know, we, we, um, we have, uh, we're, we're in a thousand Loblaw stores. We're now in a thousand Chopper's Drug Marts with the President's Choice brand. We see 19 million Canadians every week in those stores that, 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 that bump into that brand. It's in, you know, every cupboard, it's in every fridge, it's in every pantry. So that brand is literally present in, in, in people's lives. Um, that combined with the fact that, uh, that we had more media presence last year than we would have in previous years, I think will have us do okay on the presence. Um, I, I know that, that our, our brand always uh, gets high marks for corporate social responsibility. It's important to us um, to, to, to not only do, do well, but also to do well by people. I certainly do think that President's Choice has had 
great influence over how Canadians eat and what Canadians eat. And we talked last year a bit about, about you know, back in, back in the early days when this was a country of, you know, white bread and bologna, uh, when, when President's Choice introduced things like Szechuan peanut sauce to Canada, you know, it, it, it really has introduced flavors and, 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 and ideas to, to the palate of Canadians that have changed the way we all eat. And, and I think that, that, is, that is a great deal of influence. I think uh, we also have had the opportunity to, to, to maybe influence people's thinking around some of the more ethical issues around, around uh, food. So for instance, we, we launched our PC Green line early on, long before you know, there was a developed environmental conscious in, in, in Canada anyway. Uh, you know, our, our healthy eating line had people thinking and talking about, about healthy eating early on. So I think there's an opportunity for, for our brand certainly to influence. And we take that rather seriously and, and, and part of our, our new umbrella of Crave More is that, that, that nice balance between delicious food but also food that is con conscious and food that is, that is consciously sourced, food that is sustainable, food, food that is healthier, food that's not only better for you but also better for the planet. And that, that balance of you know, eating deli delicious stuff but also you know, making sure that, that, that we do no harm. So 2015 for us, I mean, we, we launched our new mantra of Crave More in the fall of last year. We, we, we just started. This isn't an advertising campaign. This is a new mission for our brand. Expect more from your food and, and internally, you know, expect more from, from each other and, and, and the food we create. So there is there's a, a, a real energy behind that, that new articulation of the brand. Um, this move from talking to consumers to talking with consumers is, is a big deal for us. And there, you know, the, the creation of, um, of our own community, of a, of a community around, around food engaged Canadians that come together and talk about what, what, what matters to them in food, which could be anything from sharing recipes and, and meal ideas to talking about some of the sustainability or, or other ethical issues around, around food. And you know, being that hub for the conversation about food in Canada is really what, we, what we'd like to achieve. One of our mantras in order to make the uh, brand more relevant with young Canadians is to, to do the new, the next and the never been done. So under that mantra of, of really trying to not only innovate, uh, the brand has a long history of innovation of product development, but we wanted to bring innovation of marketing to, to that brand as well. So we, we did a, a whole host of things. We had um, uh, probably the most unique and ambitious media program behind, uh, behind the launch of, of our new campaign. Um, a whole new process around how we launched it uh, and how we bought media. Uh, partnerships with Google, uh, the launch of our own community on, on PC.ca. So a whole, whole number of things that not only renovated the message that, that we were broadcasting, but also how we were getting that message out. We look a lot to, uh, to um, Europe and, and Asia for inspiration in brands, particularly in our, in our business. Um, you know, we do look a lot to, to our friends in the UK uh, and, and in Europe for inspiration around, um, around food trends and not just flavored trends, but, but what's on people's minds around food. There's some things happening in the UK, for instance, right now that, that I think you know, in a couple of years we'll, we'll, we'll see in Canada. In retail, because retail is special. You know, retail, retail is special because retail is a combination of having a brand strategy, but then also having thousands of tactics that, that, that move at incredible pace. And, and in order to, to generate a, a cohesive and coherent brand, I think making sure that these little tactics that happen each and every day ladder up to the brand and are actually additive rather than competing with, with what the brand is. That is, I think, how you create a strong brand which ultimately will give you influence. And, and that is the, the, the battle, I think, that all retail marketers will, will, will have to fight each and every day, which is this, this um, driving consistency in, in every little execution of every little marketing programs that happen you know, every single week in this, in this very, very rapidly moving business of retail. I think it'll be Google again. 